for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 5 structural model with fluid viscous damper by using etap software so firstly i will show you the model which is comes under the uh, fluid uh, viscous damper of g plus 5 building model okay so click on this uh, etap software so this is my building model i was already done the modeling process analysis process for this respective structure so before applying the fluid viscous dampers type initially we need to see the properties which is involved in this particular fluid viscous dampers so for that just i am selecting this image so this is the properties which is comes under the fluid viscous dampers which is consisting of the mass is 1700 kg and weight is 0.173 kilo newton and effective stiffness is 20000 and the effective damping is 10000 okay so initially i will show you the properties which i was considered for this respected fluid viscous damper go to click on the define option section properties select the link property option so now we can see here i was taken uh, viscous dampers option click on the modify show option so now we can see here i was taken the viscous damper which is comes under the damping of bilinear property which is of 1700 uh, comes under the mass 0.173 is the weight for the particular structure and this is the stiffness of 20,000 and effective stiffness is 10,000. Click on OK option, click on OK option. This is the property of defining the viscous dampers. For applying the viscous dampers, we need to select any one of the elevation. So, simply just I am selecting J elevation, click on OK. So, here it is not showing anything related to the J elevation. But if you are uh, familiar with the rectangular building structure, it will select any one of the elevation you can select. And you can draw the viscous dampers by using draw links option here. Okay. Now uh, you can see I was applied the fluid viscous dampers in alternative position for the particular structure. Okay. Now we have to apply the uh, fixer support. For that just I am selecting all the uh, support conditions at the base. Go to assign option, join point, uh, restraints option, select the fixer support, click on apply option, click on OK. So that it will apply the fix, uh, fixer support conditions at the base. Now we have to analyze this structure. Before that I will show you the what are the properties that I was considered for this respected building. Go to define material properties. So for this building, I was taken M30 graded concrete provision and a FE415 grade steel provision. Again, in the same process, I was taken the frame sections, which is comes under the uh, beam of uh, approximately 230 cross 600 and column of 230 cross 600. Click on OK. So in the same process, we have to uh, see the values of slab thickness. Go to click on the slab thickness. I was taken two types of the slabs, which is comes under 150 mm and 200 mm. Okay. So click on the OK option. So now we have to see the load cases which is involved in this particular structure. Define option for that. Click on load cases option. So here I was taken the dead load, live load, wall load, floor finishing load, earthquake load and response spectrum condition system. Okay. So I was assumed the response spectrum condition for the analysis purpose. Okay. So now we have to analyze the structure. Go to analyze option. Click on check models initially. Click on the line checks option initially. Click on OK so that it will check the line checks for the particular structure under consideration so again in the same process we have to click on analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option so now we have to see the uh, analysis results for the particular structure due to the presence of the uh, both uh, lateral loading condition system as well as the gravity loading condition system for the particular structure now you can see here it was checking for the uh, story number three option story number two Again, it will check for the results which is comes under the property of story number one. Again, it will check for the respected story number plinth. Okay. So after analysis process completed, it will show you the deflection diagram for the particular structure with the considerations of the both lateral loading condition systems as well as the gravity loading condition system for the particular structure. Okay. So it will show you the uh, deflection diagram under considerations of the load cases. Now you can see this is the deflection of the building which is considered for the respective structure with the considerations of the dead loading condition. In order to see the shear force diagram, click on display option, forces option, frame span dilla, select any one of the load, share x shear 2 option, click on apply. So that it will display the shear force diagram. Again in the same process I am selecting moment 3 3 option, click on apply. It will show you the bending moment diagram. Click on torsion option, click on apply. It will show you the torsion diagram for the particular structure. So after that we had to uh, design this particular structure with the considerations of the uh, lateral loading condition systems. So for that, firstly we have to add the strip condition systems. Okay, for the slab section at the different levels. Okay, so for that initially I am unlocking the model here for the particular structure. So for adding the strip condition system, click on edit option, edit grid strips option, add strip condition system. 
so here i am selecting story number 5 which is in x uh, which is in strip layer is a click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system for the uh, fifth level in x direction again in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the remaining stories option also okay so for example just i am taking the fifth story design considerations only so that's why just i am applying only the strip condition system for the particular fifth slab but if you want to design the all the slab considerations just we have to select all the uh, story numbers for the individual strip layers okay for example here i was taken the story number 5 which is consisting of x and uh, a section in the same process i will take after this i will take the story number 5 which is uh, related to the direction of uh, y direction condition with strip layer is b okay click on apply option in the same process you have to take the strip condition system for the all the stories for the fourth story in x and y direction with the grid layer is ab again uh, uh fifth third story a and b section okay so now in the same process we have to proceed with the uh, plinth level also so click on okay option after applying the grid condition system for all the stores uh, stories but here i was taken only the story numbered uh, fifth for the respected consideration now we have to analyze this respective structure with the considerations of the strips then after that we can able to design this particular structure with the considerations of the lateral loading condition systems so for that again we have to click on the analyze option so click on the run analysis option okay so here i am selecting settler load cases to run option click on run now option again in the same process it will do the analysis process for the respected building structure with the considerations of the strip condition system at the different story level so here for this respected condition i was taken only the fifth story as the reference now you can see this is the deflection diagram with the considerations of the strip now we have to design a building for that go to click on the design option concrete frame design select view revised preferences select as per is 456 2000 click on okay again in the same process we have to click on design option concrete frame design so click on the start designing check option so that it will check the start designing check for the particular beam sections and column section for the g plus 5 uh, building structure with considerations of the viscous dampers now you can see this is the beams and uh, column designing results now in the same process we have to design the slab go to click on the view revised preferences select is456 click on okay click on the design option select the story number for the particular structure select story number 5 click on okay again in the same process we have to select this click on start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the particular structure which is comes under the fifth story as per is456 2000 codal provision now you can see it was done with the slabs to be designed for the respected fifth story under consideration so now initially we need to save this particular model by using control s option so now we have to close the uh, e tab software so in order to do the detailing process we need to open the csi detailing e tab software version initially we need to import the model from e tab software to csi detailing version then after that we can able to do the detailing process as per your consideration so here i am selecting csi detailing 18 version software so firstly click on the file option here click on new detailing option select any one of the model from this respected consideration just i am selecting viscous viscous damper option so initially the model will be open in etap software then then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version you can see it was importing the data which is comes under the uh, slab section grid section story section join section as per the considerations of the model now here you can see all the data is imported for this respected consideration initially we need to select some of the units as per the is code 456 code 2000 code click on the detailing units select as per si system and select the force will be in kilo newton and rebar weight will be in ton option click on okay select the preferences select as per uh, is 456 2000 click on okay select the uh, concrete uh, detailing rebar rules option as per your consideration so select here and selecting the value of the minimum cover will be of uh, uh, 120 value and maximum cover will be of uh, approximately 450 value for the beam sections column section as well as the slab section for 50 and select the column which is comes under the value of 120 value and this is the uh, value which is comes under the 450 value click on okay option again in the same process we have to click on the okay option directly so that it will do the detailing process as per your considerations of 456 2000 codal provision for the slab sections beam sections as well as the column sections see it was done with all detailing process 
so it will show you the results on the left hand side for the particular structure it will be consisting of slab detailing option beam detailing option column detailing option as well as the frame detailing option for this particular structure okay so you can select any one of the floor for this respected consideration as per your as per your requirement so here i am selecting the story number 5 for the particular structure so this is the top rebar plan for the particular structure just i am selecting here for the uh, top rebar plan so that it will load the top rebar plan as per your consideration I am selecting the rebar KG option. You can select bottom rebar plan or rebar plan as per your consideration. Just I am selecting directly here as rebar KG option. So now we can see this is the complete rebar plan for the respected consideration. In the same process, you can select the beam designing section. So it will be consisting of concrete beams. Select any one of the story. Just I am selecting this particular beam section. Click on A option. Okay. So that it will load the beam reinforcement details for this particular structure. So directly select this rebar KG option so that it will load the rebar KG option for this section. In the same process, you can select any one of the section as per your consideration. Sometimes it will be showing your respected uh, double reinforcement value for the consideration. In the same process, I am selecting the column section, column detailing, select the elevation section. Just I am selecting one column here. So this is the column reinforcement detail for the respected consideration. This is the B section, this is the C section, this is the D, this is the E, this is the F. Directly select the rebar KG option for the particular structure of the column so that it will load the final output which is comes under the column section as per your uh, values. Okay, so this is the final output which is comes under the column designing section. Okay, so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of G plus 5 building with the fluid viscous damp by using ETAP software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for the respected questions. Thank you.